Jonathan Majors has been officially fired as Kang. He was found guilty. He'll be sentenced on February 6th and faced up to a year in jail. I know they already committed to every single version of Kang looking like Jonathan Majors. I really just think they should recast him. Like, audiences are not that dumb. We'll be able to figure out what happened. The MCU has even successfully recasted several roles already. But it seems like they might just completely change their story because now the Avengers of King Dynasty is being referred to as Avengers 5. few days after the trial, Jonathan Majors has appeared and faced by his guilty verdict while stepping out in New York City on Tuesday. The embattled actor Jonathan Majors took his trial in New York City on Tuesday, following his guilty verdict in the trial regarding the assault of his ex-girlfriend, Grace Dubari. Various outlets published photos of the disgraced actor getting coffee and appearing in body even without his handbag, Megan Good. A New York jury found him guilty of misdemeanor, assault, and harassment the day before. In the picture, Majors rocked a red plate shirt with a matching vein and black jacket. Notably, he's only holding one coffee, and his partner, Megan Good, is nowhere to be seen, which is raising and, of course, making people ask relevant questions. She's been by his side throughout the trial, and even prior to the trial. But unfortunately, just after the trial, looks like Megan Good is nowhere to be found by the side of Jonathan Majors. The Creed actor has also been dropped from his upcoming project after he was found guilty of assaulting his ex-girlfriend. Now, well, after two weeks' trial, the jury had four days of evidence from Majors' ex Grace Jabari, who said their relationship turned physical after she noticed romantic texts on the actor's phone. The pair met on set in 2021 of Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania where Majors was playing Kane and Barry most working as a movement coach. Majors' role in MCU was set to lead to more projects in the new season of Loki in 2026 film Avengers. It remains unclear whether the role will be recast or scrapped entirely. A lawyer for Majors Priya Chaudhary said in a statement that his legal team is grateful that the jury notably did not find that he had intended to cause physical injuries to Mr. Barry. Miss Majors, Mr. Majors is grateful to God, his family, his friends, and his fans for their love and support during this harrowing eight months. According to the Hollywood Report, Majors PR firm, the lead company, has also dropped the actor. He has also been dropped by his management at Entertainment 360. Majors is said to be sentenced in February 2024 and faces up to a year in prison for the third degree assault charge. Let's get into this Jonathan Majors guilty verdict. Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor based in Atlanta, Georgia. This trial was a little bit frustrating for me because we were not allowed to view it inside the courtroom. Cameras were not allowed and the evidence was being released kind of piecemeal, leaving us to try to piece together what exactly was being shown to the jury and what the jury might be thinking as they're looking at the evidence. Thank you if a reporter here says that Jonathan Majors was acquitted on anything having to do with intent, meaning that any intent charges he was not convicted of. So let's dig deeper into that. The reporter goes on to explain that this means Jonathan Majors was convicted related to his ex-girlfriend's finger injury, but the jury ruled that it was reckless, not intentional. It's not clear to me at this point why this case continued to trial. I'm not sure why that was the strategy, especially as the evidence continued to leak and the text messages and the videos continued to leak, and it started to look more and more damning for Jonathan Majors. For example, take a look at this text conversation that the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend was sending to Jonathan Major. She says, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? What this tends to indicate, right, and what the prosecutors would have said this proves, is that she was going to go to the hospital and lie about how she was injured so as to not get Jonathan Majors in trouble. You know, he's a celebrity, he's been in many Marvel movies, and this could hurt his career. And she didn't want to do that, so she was going to lie. That's what this tends to prove if I was a prosecutor and I was going to put this in evidence. The defense attorney in this case, from my view, was probably thinking about two things. Number one, obviously keeping your client out of jail or out of prison for a conviction. But number two, keeping your client's career intact. And obviously they chose the strategy of going to trial and risking getting found 
guilty, but also obviously if they went to trial and they were found not guilty and everything was dismissed, he would be in a much better place. Maybe. I mean, Marvel still could have decided to drop him once the evidence came out, but still that's the strategy they chose. And I just wonder if there was another option. If there was an option to take a plea deal, right? Take accountability, apologize, go to counseling, go to therapy, take a hiatus. And then at some point be able to have your career again, because you've taken responsibility and you said, I know what I did was wrong. I I'm in a dark place. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have put my hands on this woman, but I'm going to take accountability for that. And hopefully at some point you'll forgive me and I'll be able to work again. I don't know if there were any plea negotiations or even a plea offer by the prosecution, or maybe the plea offer was terrible, but it does seem hindsight always being 2020, right? But it does seem that throughout the pendency of this case, the evidence was getting worse and worse. And it looked like he was headed towards a guilty conviction. Now, of course we'd be saying the opposite thing, right? If he had gone to trial and gotten found not guilty, we would have said, okay, he hedged his bets and the bets weighed, weighed in his favor. But in this case, it just didn't seem like going to trial was the right strategy. The text messages, I don't know, maybe his attorney, maybe they looked at it differently than the general public looked at it, uh, but it didn't look great from, from what we saw. And so those are my thoughts. What do you think about the case? What do you think his sentence is going to be? He's being sentenced in February. Do we think it's going to be probation, anger management? Do we think he's actually going to have to do some time incarcerated? Let me know in the comments. Jonathan Majors has been officially fired as king. He was found guilty. He'll be sentenced on February 6th and faced up to a year in jail. I know they already committed to every single version of King looking like Jonathan Majors. I really just think they should recast him. Like audiences are not that dumb. We'll be able to figure out what happened. The MCU has even successfully recasted several roles already, but it seems like they might just completely change their story because now the Avengers of King Dynasty is being referred to as Avengers 5. Let's get into this Jonathan Majors guilty verdict. Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor based in Atlanta, Georgia. This trial was a little bit frustrating for me because we were not allowed to view it inside the courtroom. Cameras were not allowed and the evidence was being released kind of piecemeal, leaving us to try to piece together what exactly was being shown to the jury and what the jury might be thinking as they're looking at the evidence. Megan Cuniff, a reporter here, says that Jonathan Majors was acquitted on anything having to do with intent, meaning that any intent charges he was not convicted of. So let's dig deeper into that. The reporter goes on to explain that this means Jonathan Majors was convicted related to his ex-girlfriend's finger injury, but the jury ruled that it was reckless, not intentional. It's not clear to me at this point why this case continued to trial. I'm not sure why that was the strategy, especially as the evidence continued to leak and the text messages and the videos continued to leak. And it started to look more and more damning for Jonathan Majors. For example, take a look at this text conversation that the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend was sending to Jonathan Majors. She says, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? What this tends to indicate, right, and what the prosecutors would have said this proves, is that she was going to go to the hospital and lie about how she was injured so as to not get Jonathan Majors in trouble. You know, he's a celebrity. He's been in many Marvel movies, and this could hurt his career, and she didn't want to do that, so she was going to lie. That's what this tends to prove if I was a prosecutor and I was going to put this in evidence. The defense attorney in this case from my view was probably thinking about two things number one obviously keeping your client out of jail or out of prison for a conviction but number two keeping your client's career intact and obviously they chose the strategy of going to trial and risking getting found guilty but also obviously if they went to trial and they were found not guilty and everything was dismissed he would be in a much better place maybe i mean marvel still could have decided to drop him once the evidence came out but still that's the strategy they chose and i just wonder if there was another option if there was an option to take a plea deal right take a accountability, 